shit, you know? Damn it. Look at this thing. All right. What's freaking going on, guys? Welcome to another one of my nighttime vampire videos. Um, so today, yeah. Remember last winter where I crash? What is this? What the fuck is this metal? Just this shard of metal in my driveway. Who in God's name? When I crash, okay? I don't like to crash. I never crash in the snow. Besides last winter, I crash in the fucking snow. It was it sucked, you know? And uh, I drove the Z for two winters. I had snow tires, you know, good stuff. But I was never like the butt hurt kid with the lifted Subaru. I was the butt hurt kid, however, with rally armor mud flaps and a light bar, 42 inch light bar on my Prelude that I like lifted by like overextending the stock struts with my eBay sleeves. And I uh, had some big like studded snow tires on there. It's pretty gnarly in the snow, dude. The thing fucking ripped. I think it's about time to do that to the Subaru. But a lot of people, they will buy these strut top spacers for them. Or they'll make some, which is probably the route that I'm going to go. But I don't know if I need to. Because like I said, I lifted my Prelude a little bit over stock. By just having those... Um, those eBay like $30 coilover sleeves and I like use the stock travel of the suspension to lift it higher. So I want to see how high up these race lands will go. Because everyone slams their cars on race lands, but who lifts them on race lands? You know what I mean? So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to zero out the camber and I'm going to lift this thing as high as it goes on the race land suspension. And then after that, I want to be making another custom lift thing some type of when I have to devise a way to lift it but I'll explain more in the other video but you can only lift it past a certain point or up to a certain point I should say without interfering with your suspension and I'll show you guys that after or maybe in tomorrow's video where I do that but um yeah let's get to uh lifting my car in Racelands All right, so hear me out here. Let me, let me, let me reposition. All right. So if you look at this right here, at the bottom, like this body is almost fully submerged in this. So theoretically, I should be able to move this up about, I don't know, three and a half inches and still have uh, whatever, you know, still have enough to hold this down front and back. And I'm going to be lifting this till it's about an inch from the top just so I can have that inch of thread inside this thing and lock it down still. And uh, see what that puts me at because to be honest, I think that's going to bring me up a good amount. Completely forgot sway bars are a thing, so... Uh... I should probably have done both front and then both back, not both side. Yeah, basically, I can't pull that side down anymore because this side is bolted up. Let's check the other side. To give you a more accurate representation of uh, what this looks like, and mind you, the stock fender sit a little bit higher, so the flares make it look like it's not as high, but if you look at like the bottom of the wheel to the bottom of the car, it's pretty damn high. I would say it's probably at like Forrester suspension level right now, only it's not gonna compress like Forrester suspension because it has coilovers on it that aren't like stock old used Forrester struts, I don't know. But here you go, look at that. See like the wheel gap part? Don't worry about that. I'm gonna go look for uh, some stock fenders and see if I can get those because these are clapped anyway. But if you look at the bottom of the wheel to the, uh, the frame, 
or like whatever. Um, like just just look, just look at the wheel compared to the car. Like look at look at the, look at that. this, right? This boy, like the axle is at the bottom. Like literally, the axle is dead even with the rocker and the bumper. Look at that. That's dope. I'm genuinely curious with the back. Now let me show you what I mean by things that you must modify after a certain height on these things. So, so it's like a Jeep, basically. If you, ever, you guys ever had a Jeep or know someone with a Jeep that lifted it? Or, yeah, so if you look over here, see this arm? See right there? This arm will hit this after a certain amount of lift. So you don't want that to hit that. So either you gotta, I don't know. I know that like on the legit lift kits, there's like a shackle that they sell that drops this down so you can lift it up more. But uh, I don't have that. So yeah, I don't know. It almost looks like, I bet you I could space this out. Is that a bracket? Oh, dude, this is a bracket. I actually might be able to just like get longer bolts and put a spacer in there or something. Huh. All right, so it seems the back can go down even farther than the front. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Also, when you do the backs, just letting you know you're gonna get a shit ton of positive camber. I just have smaller bolts in there, so it's not a problem for me, but if you're doing this, you might wanna get some smaller bolts so you can actually push this back, um, as I don't have rear camber adjustment up top. But uh, the front is towed in, so I'm gonna have to tow it back out. And the rear is cambered way out and towed out, so I just gotta push it back more, as straight as I can get it. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> so it looks like the back's actually a little bit freaking higher than the front. So I might be able to just make some, uh, some type of lift for the front, just a little bit. Because the coilover, like, I'm not gonna go any higher on that because at the bottom of it, I left like in the cup of the, like in the actual cup of the coilover, whatever you want to call it, like the body that spins, um, the threads are only like this long. So I left that much of actual like strut body in it, like threaded strut body. So there's threads all the way to the bottom of the threads on that body. So it's as safe as it could be, you know, it's just like if it was all the way in it. And then that's tightened, but I don't want to raise it up anymore because then there's not going to be enough threads and I don't want my coilovers to friggin' split in half. So, see over here how it's like a little bit farther forward from the, like, it's closer to here than it is in the back. That is why you need that spacer thing. So, mine isn't horrible. I've seen people who do it and it's like way up there. This, this is fine. But I'm still going to see if I can make that spacer tomorrow so that the wheel goes back to where it should be. And yeah. But I got one more side to do. I'll be back to you guys after that and we'll lower down the car together. All right, so now all the wheels are on it and bolted down. I'm going to lower it to the ground, see what's good, see the ride height, and fine tune it. So this side looks good to me. There's a better look at the, uh, the ground clearance. And maybe you can't really, I don't know. I don't know how, how good you can tell, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good ground. It's, it's higher than stock, I'll tell you that much. And uh, the back, I'm going to say 100% this side is lower, so I do have to bring the side up more. And the side is towed out as opposed to that side is dead flat. So I got to bring this, I got to adjust these coilovers down, meaning like to lift it. And I got to push the front of the tire in a little bit and then tighten the bolts down. And then we'll get to a line in the front and then we'll be done for the night. Everything is where it should be for the most part. Um, I do plan on making some uh, toe plates because you can just go and buy the, like, the Jegs ones that Jimmy has if you've ever seen him use those. Or you can just get some pieces of aluminum and slit some holes and get two of the same tape measures and boom. And I want to make some like wide wheel, low car friendly ones. So I think that'd be cool. This is cool. I like this. <laughs> All right, so this is higher than my car was on stock suspension. 
And when I first got this, it had the saggy butt spacers in the rear, which for those of you who don't know, Subarus sit lower in the rear, like I said before. So they sell spacers just specifically for like the rear to, to like level it. But either it, was, either it was that or it had half of a lift kit on it because the front had nothing on it. And the rear, it's one of the old Haggard videos, so I can't pull it up, but the rear had the, like a strut top spacer on it, like an actual like metal strut top spacer and the front had nothing. So the, the back was like stupid high and the front was like stock height. Now the front matches that. So it's, it's about as high as it was in the back before, if not a little bit higher, but now the front actually matches. And I was skeptical of doing this because it's like, these are, the suspension's meant for lowering cars, right? Apparently it's meant for both. I didn't, I know, I know it could get like, I, I always just assumed like, oh, you get coilovers, like if you want to raise it up, like they'll go close to stock height almost, but this went past it by a good amount. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but like the axle is even with like that lip part of the front bumper and the friggin' rockers. Same with the rear. All around, it's just like that. So, yeah. I would imagine if I had 16s, I could put some uh, decent sized tires on this. But I don't really need, I don't really want the decent size. I, I, don't, I don't want like a big tire. I just want like a meaty snow tire. So, that's what I'm going to end up with. And I don't know, it depends on what size I find, if I'm going to run the Tarmax or Cali stock wheels. Let me know though what you guys think. Um, also, I kind of want to paint these because they're ugly as hell and I kind of want to refresh the car a little bit, you know, uh, especially that, that I'm going to be like swapping it soon and stuff. So here's your wheel color choices, white or mint, which one? <laughs> I like the white, but I figured, you know, if, if, if enough of you guys want me to paint the mint, I'll do it because why not spray paint? It's like four bucks. Shit, it feels so high up. <laughs> Dude, the wheel is dead straight. I'm hit. I mean, I'm mint. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go flex it on something. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna three wheel. This is an off-road suspension. It's just stiff suspension, so it's probably just gonna three wheel like a bitch. But I mean, at least I won't scrape shit. <laughs> Oh, shit, dude. Oh. <laughs> Why is this the first thing anyone with a lift kit does? Dude, look, this tire is off the ground. <laughs> dude, I'm flexing on this rock right now, dude. Tell me, dude, this is the illest. This is, this is the epitome of Subaru commercials right here, dude. That's gotta have to be. That's that has to be my thumbnail, dude. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> I went up the curb and then up the rock. Uh, this is Chris's rock, so he won't care. This is... <laughs> oh, man. Here, let me get a light on this. Look at how high off the ground this wheel is. <laughs> Does this count as flexing? That's pretty good, dude, for no actual lift kit. Shout out to Raceland. Race, Raceland lift kits, dude. That's the, that's, the, that's the title right there, Raceland lift kits.
dope. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't mind being up a little higher, you know, so I think tomorrow I'm going to try to devise a way to do that myself and hopefully get some damn tires because what the hell is this? What, what the hell good is all this lift if I'm getting stuck in the snow because because I have shit tires, you know, I can get over all the snow. I just can't get through it right now. So snow tires, maybe a couple other like butt hurt lift shit things. So I don't know. Yeah, it's cool. I'm hyped, but I will see you guys. Ooh, damn. I got some stank on my face see you guys next time thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed me being ignorant and running over my 800 hundred dollar camera i'll see you guys next time peace i'm gonna go edit in the warm and uh not be outside or working on anything peace out